Hey guys, this is Sunsfan with a spotlight video for Treant Protector. My feelings on the war in Roseleaf are complicated. Neither the Bronze Legion nor the Red Mist are threats to my people. And yet, my cousins willingly intercede on the fool's behalf. Their fondness for such frail creatures is strange to me. But nonetheless, they call for my aid, and I am compelled to answer. Tree Protector is a common hero with 4 attack and 10 health. He comes with a passive named Branches of Iron, which will give his allied neighbors plus 2 armor. Treant's signature card is the 4 mana creep Roseleaf Druid. This creep comes with 2 attack and 6 health, and will provide your tower with plus 1 mana. Treant Protector is a very strong hero. For stats, his attack are pretty average for a green hero, and his health is on the higher end. He's an excellent round 1 hero as his passive will allow creeps to trade favorably. His signature card creep is quite good as well. It not only allows him to slowly ramp up Elaine's mana, but provides a 2-6 body for it as well. Synergy. Creeps absolutely love Tree Ant, as that 2 armor helps a lot of them grow very quickly. Two examples of this are the Satyr Duelist and Rampaging Hellbear. In addition, ramping up even more mana can be effective with the Roseleaf Druids you have on your side. Thus, Selimani's Favor and Stars Align can help amplify that advantage even more. And with that advantage, getting huge bodies out there like Emissary of the Quorum or Thunderhide Pack pretty much ensure victory. With green-blue decks, you also have to think about the potential use of a game-ending creep named Incarnation of Selimene. Heroes. Tree Ant can work pretty well with most heroes, especially those that come with creeps, like Lycan. For blue, you can also include Venomancer into that category, as his Plague Wars will be deceptively difficult to kill. Also, providing the Roseleaf Druid with buffs doesn't hurt either. As the longer it survives, the more advantage you'll get into that lane. Heroes like Enchantress and Omni Knight are great for that. Counters. Big boys that don't care about armor can be a big problem for Treant. This includes many of the red staple heroes like Axe and Bristleback. Blue heroes can also be a problem for him, as piercing damage reigns supreme with Zeus, Venno, Luna, and even Ogre Magi's Ignite. Black's Slay can also prove to be problematic. Items. Blink Dagger and Phase Boots provide a lot of mobility for a hero that relies so much on positioning to be the most effective. The last thing you want is to be stranded in lane without being able to take advantage of what makes Treant great. Also, getting more armor for your neighboring buddies can be hilarious with Shield of Basilius, although definitely not needed. To see the ratings of every card from professional players, be sure to visit artifaction.gg. If you want to be featured on this channel, you can also submit memorable clips you see on stream to us at artifaction.gg slash submit. Thanks for watching and subscribing to Artifact Cinema. Be sure to click that bell icon in order to get notified when we put up a new spotlight or guide.